In this activity, we're going to make a spinning airplane. Now, they're going to be made out of two coffee cups. So you'll need uh, two coffee cups. Uh, you're going to need some sellotape to stick them together. And then you're going to need some elastic bands. So you'll need at least three or four of them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two coffee cups and we're going to put them uh, so that the two bottoms of the coffee cups are stuck together. So I'm just going to hold them like that, hold them nice and tight and get a little bit of sellotape and put it on there. So you're going to need plenty of set of tape because they want these two uh, coffee cups to stay together. So just rotate that around, put on another piece. And one more piece there. I'm going to put on one last piece just to make sure that it's, they stay together. So we have plenty of set of tape on there now. So this is the, uh, the two coffee cups. And the way this works now is we're going to uh, get our elastic bands and wind them around this part of the uh, coffee cups. So to do that, um, you're going to take the two, uh, two elastic bands and then you put them um, overlapping like that. And then you pull uh, this part of the elastic band through the uh, other elastic band and then pull. So you get that kind of a knot. And you're going to do the same with the other um, so you, the other elastic bands. You want all four to be connected like that. So in this case, what you're going to do now is you're going to take this orange bit and pull it through. You'll get that kind of a knot shape and then pull again. Same with the purple. Pull this through here. And now I have four elastic bands uh, knotted together. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take this now to fly it. I'm going to fly this outside in a short while, but to to get it to fly, what you need to do is basically hold it with your th uh, with your thumb on uh, the coffee cups, uh, pull the elastic band. Now, as you pull the elastic band, you're putting energy, potential energy, into the elastic band. So what will happen is when you let go, of that elastic band will want to unwind. But what you're going to do is as you wrap it around the cups. Keep stretching as you're doing that. Keep stretching as you as you pull. Now what happens is when you let go, uh, what's going to happen is the elastic bands are going to unwind because um, you've stretched them out. Uh, and when they unwind, they're going to give a rotation to the cups. And as you give rotation to the cups, uh, the cups will uh, fly fly forward um, and I'll explain the science behind that in a short while. I'm going to show it to you here just uh, close up uh, as this unwinds you should see the coffee cup spin. As you can see they spin a little bit there. Um, I'll show you how they fly outside in a little while. Uh, one of the most important things about this activity is to make sure that you try it several times because it does it usually for me anyways it didn't work the first time I tried it I had tried it about 10 times uh, to get it to work so I just wanted to, to make sure that you don't give up on the first go it takes a little bit of time to make sure that you're rotating the elastic bands in the right way and I'll show you that outside as we go so to get the cup to fly you put your finger on the top of it and then wind it anti-clockwise then you hold it on the top and push forward and release and it should fly. If you do it in the opposite direction, so now I'm going clockwise, when you let it go it will spin in the opposite direction and this won't give you any lift. And it'll drop. I want to explain the science behind the coffee cups and why is it when they spin in different directions, when they spin in one direction you, it lifts up and when you spin in the opposite direction it goes down. Uh, the actual scientific name for this is called the Magnus Effect, named after a, a scientist called Magnus. Uh, and if you want to uh, look that up, there are some nice videos that explain this in different ways. This is also the reason why a a soccer ball, when you give it a spin, um, go can actually you can actually curve the ball. So if we just take this top example here, this is what happens is think of this black circle here as the coffee cup, and as it spins around, um, the air is coming from this direction. So you can if you take it in two parts, the top part of the cup is actually going in the same direction as the air that's going by it. So that kind of adds um to it is not not putting any force against it but then at the bottom it's actually working against it uh, it's going the opposite direction to the way the air is and because of that you have a force up and this makes the thing lift up as you can see in the video that we did outside um, 
the, when you make the coffee cup spin in the opposite direction, so the air is coming from this direction, uh, and as the air comes from this direction, you can see now the top of the cup is actually working against the way the air is coming, and the bottom of the cup, cup is, is going in the direction of the air. And because of this, you get a force down. So that's why when you spin it in one direction, it goes up, and when you spin it in the opposite direction, it goes down. I hope you liked our little flying airplane. And if you'd like more of these science activities, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the little red button on the bottom of your screen. And also, if you'd like to be notified whenever we release new videos, please click the little uh, bell icon. Thanks very much for watching.